Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for my lovely Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. As you guys can see, we've already pulled out the card, so let's jump right into your reading, Capricorn. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys. Now, your first card here is the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords could have to do with dealing with a air sign. Air sign would be an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Does not have to be a female. It could be both male or female. Um, but they are taking the qualities of the female energy. Um, and we do have the Nine of Cups with the Six of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles. Now, you guys can see, I'm not sure if you guys can see or not, but in these cards, um, I have a lot of women. Actually, all cards are women energy. So this is a representation, as you guys know, um, Capricorns is a feminine energy. And it is the the you know, the, the mother, the mother nature type of energy, the earth goddess or, you know, earth god energy. And I feel that for the month of November, going all the way to December, female energies are going to be very important for you guys. This could be mother figures. This could be great grandmothers or grandmothers, um, etc. For those, even if you're a male Capricorn, you may be dealing a lot uh, with the mother figure for the month of November going all the way to December um, or a grandmother or some type of mother figure that is very prominent in your life. Now, the Queen of Swords does represent um, a person that is very, very analytical. This is not a very emotional type of energy, which I know that this is not your energy, Capricorn, but you do have the Nine of Cups next to it. So for some of you guys, it could represent that your partner itself is an air sign. Um, and you may be getting the news of expectancy for some of you guys. Um, <clears throat> for those of you guys that are men out there, uh, you may be getting the news that your wife is pregnant or that she's been expecting. Um, for others of you guys, uh, as the Nine of Cups does represent uh, pregnancy, it is the ninth month card. But it also is the wish fulfillment card. So for some of you guys that have been dealing um, with a person in your life in regards to love and romance that you really don't know where you stand with them or you've been dealing with, you know, trying to guess the guessing game, uh, if they're going to make up their mind, if they're going to want to decide, something that has to do with, you know, very complexity of the situation. I feel that for the month of November, they will be communicating with you and it's going to be to the best of your interest as it does speak about wish fulfillment here. Um, you do have the Six of Wands. So again, Six of Wands is triumph, success, returning, um, getting some type of elevation, getting some type of recognition. For some of you guys that have been working in your work field, perhaps you feel like this Queen of Swords... Um, Again, like I said, could be male or female, doesn't have to be just a female, but could represent that they've been very harsh on you or you feel like they're just looking at you. They're just critiquing, you know, your every move at the job and it's just becoming a very, very, you know, overburdened for yourself and very stressful. Um, nonetheless, again, with the nine of cups and the six of wands, they finally break through. They finally realize, you know, this Capricorn is a very hardworking person and you know you may again like i said they're not very emotional they're not very communicative when it comes to you doing a good job but i feel that for the month of november they're going to be very encouraging they're going to realize and give you that credit you've been waiting for or you've been desiring uh they're going to be telling you good job they're going to even guide you um you know don't stress so much uh it'll be passive or whatnot but i do feel that again Someone in your life, whether it's your boss, whether it's your partner, uh, if your partner has been, you know, very unemotional lately, I feel that they're going to have a breakthrough where they're going to almost allow you or assist you in getting to where you want to get. Um, now, with the Six of Wands, there is victory and there is triumph. So for some of you guys that have been dealing with a lot of difficulties in regards to your finances... Um, you know, it's like I had mentioned in a previous, in the previous month, there's a lot of manifestations happening for Capricorns because of Saturn being in your sign. Now this, depending on your birth date, you are either already experiencing that or you will be experiencing that. Nonetheless, 
this year, 2018, that's going to be very, very important for you guys because that's when we have the breakthroughs happening. So again, this is just a correlation of that energy, of that breaking through, of that breakthrough you've been hoping for, of that opportunity coming through. For some of you guys, it could be um, that you've been having difficulty even stabilizing um, or finding a home, something that has to do with your residency at the present. And again, almost at the end of November, going into December, money starts to come in um, that you're able to actually put that towards whatever achievement you're trying to do, whether it's the purchasing of a car, whether it's the purchasing of a new home, or whether it's just getting, you know, moving out of your you know, mother-in-law's house or moving out of your parents' home, um, there's a lot of expansion that's happening. And you do have the Knight of Pentacles. So the Knight of Pentacles does represent movement. And it's movement that's been on the uh, on the happening, but it just, just hasn't quite hit it yet. Capricorn, do not give up. Keep going. I know that it's been a very difficult journey for you guys and you guys have been tested. But do not question yourself. Do not... The best way I can put it is spirit is telling you, know and understand that the goddess is in you, that you have the God in you. Keep pushing through. Do not allow circumstances. If you were the type of person that was doing very well off six years ago, stop looking towards the past and saying, oh, that was me before and now I'm struggling. Like learn to be humble, Capricorn. Learn that, you know what, this was a learning process. I had to learn through this process. And I'm surrendering. The most important thing is surrendering. Don't resist the changes. Surrender to it. Acknowledge that, yes, this is difficult, but nothing is forever. And that is something that anyone can tell you. Like the seasons come and go, difficulties will not remain. You will keep pushing through and things will get better. I promise you, Capricorn. But believe in yourself. Do not allow other people's perceptions of you or do not allow difficulties that you've gone through to shake you and to make you question, am I able to do this? Am I able to do that? Will I ever do this? Will I ever do that? No, Capricorn, none of that nonsense. Believe in yourself and you will achieve. Remember, where the mind goes, energy flows. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading, like, share, and comment. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, definitely subscribe and we'll see each other soon. Bye.